When we look under the radical, we notice that the exponents are all even. And because we have a power of two, this means that none of the variables are going to be left under the radical. Now, when we think about breaking this down, what's on the outside is going to stay the same. But under the radical, we could break our coefficient down as 13 times 4. And all our exponents and variables are going to stay the same. So when we go through now, right, what's on the outside is still going to remain the same. But we're going to multiply what's on the outside times what we pull out from under the radical. So the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of x to the 6 power is x to the 3rd. Square root of y squared is y to the 6. And the square root of z to the 18th is z to the 9th. Now, what's under the radical is only 13, and we don't need to worry about that for now. What we need to worry about is multiplying and combining this expression on the outside. So once we multiply our coefficients, we get negative 8. And then once we add our exponents for like terms, x is going to change to the 7th power once we add 4 and 3. And then y is going to change to the 7th power as well because of 6 plus 1. Z to the ninth stays the same because there's no other Z exponent or base for us to multiply with. So our final answer is negative 8, X to the 7th, Y to the 7th, Z to the ninth times radical 13.